Hello students. In this video, we have eighth illustration of chapter six. The question is: Refer to figure six point eight. The arm PQ of rectangular conductor is moved from x equal to zero outward. The uniform magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane and extends from x equal to zero to x equal to b. N is zero up to uh, outside B for any x greater than B. Only the arm PQ possesses substantial resistance R. Consider the situation when the arm PQ is pulled outward from x equal to zero to x equal to B and uh, is then moved back to x equal to zero with constant speed B. Obtain the expression for the flux, the induced EMF, the force necessary to pull the arm, and the power dissipated as joule heat. Uh, sketch the variation in the quantities with distance. So, uh, as shown here, in this region, in this region, which is from x equal to zero. To x equal to b, uh, we have magnetic field prevailing, but from x equal to b to x equal to 2b, there is uh, no magnetic field. So we can say that in this region we must have flux. In this region, flux must be zero. In this region, we must have uh, EMF induced if rod is moved. In this region, EMF must be zero. Uh, here, if we have EMF, power should be uh, greater than zero. In this region, power should be zero, and so is current. Uh, I think I have made one mistake. We cannot say EMF is greater than zero. We can say that EMF is non-zero. Okay, it may be negative or positive. So uh, that much is clear from this figure that when you move this rod, when this rod is moved, say from this point x equal to zero to x equal to b, uh, this is the situation. Flux is uh, greater than zero. Flux is changing. You have EMF. You have power. But once it crosses this point. The situation should be this. Okay, so let us try to uh, see the variation in flux and uh, epsilon and power. How many quantities we want? We want expression for flux, induced EMF, force, uh, power, and joule heat. Uh, I think uh, we can express these quantities in table. So two regions uh, mainly we are talking about. Uh, this is first region where we have magnetic field. This is second region where we don't have magnetic field. So uh, let me express it in terms of a table. So x is between zero and b, where you have magnetic field, and uh, then you have region where there is no magnetic field. So what I am talking about is x equal to b. This region I am talking about, and uh, then this yellow region is this. Okay. So when you are in green region, you have magnetic field or not? Sorry. You have magnetic field. Yes, magnetic field is non-zero. Magnetic field is zero. So how do I find out flux? So flux we can find out with the formula B A, whatever is the area uh, you can find out uh, substitute and find out flux outside is zero. Okay, so as you are moving the rod, uh, it is motional EMF and then epsilon is minus B B L, when uh, moving. Right hand side, 
okay and uh, then emf is zero let me call it epsilon one and uh, then at that time force how do we find out force now force is uh, i l b so i is uh, voltage upon resistance which is r l b and then it becomes uh, substitute this value bbl instead of uh, this epsilon and you will have uh, b square b l square by r with negative sign this is the force again uh, uh, i am talking about the situation when the rod is moved outside so when moving right side as soon as it goes outside the magnetic field force is zero now when you are coming back okay now joule heat joule heat is if it is h joule heat is uh, uh, let me call it power so power is v square by r so it is uh, b square v square l square by r it has nothing to do with positive or negative sign but again power will be zero if you are outside okay uh, what what is left now how many quantities we want flux flux we have considered then uh, force is also considered uh, power is also taken here and joule heat. Joule heat is power into time will give you joule heat. So I'm not mentioning it. Now, uh, these quantities, two quantities will change. Epsilon and force. What is the difference? Difference will be earlier if it is negative, when you are moving the rod back, when you are going in this direction, uh, you have epsilon 1 and F1, but if you are coming back, if you are moving the rod back, then you will have epsilon 2 and F2. What is the epsilon 2 and F2? So, epsilon 2 will be plus BBL, and F2 is plus B square, V square, L square by R. Direction of the force and EMF will change, but this other quantities will. Uh, not change this quantities will remain same so that is the difference and now if I express it in terms of graph uh, then I can say that uh, for phi versus uh, t graph if I plot uh, x equal to 0 let it be x equal to b x equal to 2b then we are also coming back so again x equal to b and then again uh, x equal to 0 so when you are going from x equal to 0 to b the flux will gradually increase so flux is increasing i am talking about uh, this region as you move the rod from this point up to next you are uh, increasing area flux will increase so flux is increasing once you go outside uh, the magnetic field, no flux, but when you again come back, you will have flux which is decreasing. So, this should be the nature of variation in flux. Uh, next, if I plot uh, EMF, what is the nature of EMF? So, again, x equal to b, x equal to 2b x equal to b and x equal to 0 so when you are going from x equal to 0 to x equal to uh, b emf is negative it is minus bbl okay check the table emf is minus bbl constant because velocity is constant when you are coming back now uh, in this region you don't have any emf okay we are outside so no emf but uh, when you come back emf will be plus bbl so this is the emf this is sorry this is plus bbl and this is minus bbl 
and that is true uh, with force also if you plot graph of uh, force versus uh, x x equal to 0 x equal to b x equal to 2b x equal to b and what i'm talking about is force how much is the force force is uh, b square v square l square by r negative earlier but constant so you may say this is the force this is the force what is the value value is uh, b square v square l square by r b square v square l square by r and similarly you can plot power uh, the only difference for power is there is no negative power so x equal to b x equal to 2b power is always positive so if this is the power earlier same is the power uh, lately and uh, how much is the power power is b square v square l square by r uh, i think in force i made mistake it's not v square it's simply b so b v l square by r okay so that is uh, all about the given situation and different quantities for the given situation thank you